It's apple season, my favorite time of the year. And once those apples are ready to pick from the tree, I'm ready to make some apple crisp. Now, since it's just my husband and I at home these days, I don't really need to make a whole pan of apple crisp. It sits around too long, otherwise we eat too much. But I've discovered that I can make individual sized apple crisps that are just perfect. Now whether you're baking for one or two, this is a great idea. So first of all, just find a dish that will work, kind of a shallow baking dish. It has to be oven safe. I've got some options here, little ramekins. This is an old restaurant style baking dish that I got in. A, secondhand store. You can use some ramekins. Lots of options. The shallower the better. I've got one that I got a long time ago. I love these little apple shaped dishes. So I've already sliced an apple, I, about an one and a half apples, depending on what size your dish is and what size your apples are will depend on what you need. Now I did toss my apple slices with a little bit of lemon juice and that just helps prevent them from browning right away. I'm going to pile my apples into my dish and you want it heaping because as it bakes they'll settle down. So get it nice and heaping full. Then I'm going to make topping for one apple crisp and I'm going to start by putting three tablespoons of rolled oats into a small mixing bowl and I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. Now you can use all-purpose um, all flour, you can use whole wheat flour. Today I'm using the white whole wheat flour, which isn't quite as heavy as the regular whole wheat flour, but it still has all those great nutrients and fiber. So I'm mix that up in my bowl and I'll add about two tablespoons of butter and just mix that in a little bit. You can use a fork or you can use your clean fingers to do this. Once I've got that butter mixed in pretty well with my fork, I'm going to add just a little pinch of salt and a Oh, kind of a pinch of cinnamon, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon, eighth to a quarter teaspoon. And to sweeten it up, some nice, wholesome, local raw honey. One or, oh, I'd say probably two or three tablespoons. I'm going to start with just two tablespoons. And now all I have to do is drop this topping right over my apples. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and I will definitely put this dish on top of a little baking pan because sometimes that juice bubbles up right over the edge and you don't want to mess in your oven or a smoky kitchen. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.